hey guys, it's your boy Scandi here and today we're going to learn how to change the eye colour in Adobe Photoshop CC and to do that we're going to be using hue and saturation and also the dodge tool as well. So as you can see from these examples that I've done here, I've literally done all of these in like less than five minutes and I'm going to show you how to too in this tutorial. So once you've got Adobe Photoshop open, you want to drag and drop the image that you're going to use. And I'm going to use this picture of Angelina Jolie and right click on the background to unclick the layer or to well to turn it into a layer should I say keep it named as layer zero and press OK and then right click and duplicate layer and then OK and just leave it named as that as well then you want to go over to the left hand side and select the quick masking tool and select your brush tool and for this, you want to make sure that your hardness is at 100%. And then obviously you can mess around with the size of the brush by using the keys under the plus and return or the bracket keys, should I say. So you want to go around the whole of the eye on each side. And if you need to zoom in, just press Alt and then scroll. So I'm just going to go around these eyes really quickly. And if you make any mistakes like that, or you go out outside, then just press E to use your eraser tool and then just cut it back in. It doesn't have to be 100% absolutely perfect because you know it's not going to be red like this by the time we're finished anyway. So if you need to change between the two, it's just B for the brush and then E for the eraser, just so you can change between the two really quickly. Then once you're done, you want to unselect the quick masking tool and then collect the collect select the rectangular marquee tool and then right click and select select inverse. Then that'll get rid of the edges and you're just left with the two selections that we've just made. Then right click again and you want to click layer via copy. So that makes you a new layer which you've just got the eyes. So just turn these two back on so you can see again. Then after that, you want to click on image and adjustments and then click on hue and saturation. Now for this, we're just going to be changing the eye color. So you want to start with hue and then work your way down, but make sure that you've got color eyes checked because if it's not, then you'll start getting, you know, pretty crazy colors. But if, I mean, if that's what you're looking for, then, you know, by all means, um, but just for something that looks a, you know, a bit more natural or more vibrant colors, just check colorize and then just change it to the color that you want to use. So, so stick with that. Let's mess around with the saturation a little bit. And the lightness as well. Say so I was pretty happy with that and then just press OK once you're done. Next, go back to image again, adjustments again, and then curves. Now what this is for is, this is just like the, the lights and the, and the darks of the image. So you wanna mess around with these this bar here, obviously move it out of the way so you can see what you're doing, but for lightness, you wanna bring it up, and for darkness, you wanna take it down. So I'll just show you a bit on kind of both ways that side and as you can see it's, it really enhances the lights and then if I took it down this way it's a bit too far but you can you can make it darker you see what I mean so I say I'm just gonna A little bit lighter on this side. Yeah, I'd say I was happy with that. And then press OK. Then right click and duplicate that layer. And rename this one to Dodge. D-O-D-G-E. 
and press OK. Then you want to select your dodge tool. So right click on the magnifying glass but not the zoom and then select your dodge tool. Then what you want to do is you want to kind of make a, a small line, or not a line but a small circle around the eyes. So you can zoom in a little bit if you want to. And it just kind of makes the middle a little bit brighter if you see what I mean. You can mess around with the hardness if it's a little bit too much, turn your hardness down. Um, change the exposure around as well for this if, if you want to but I'm just going to show you really quickly the sort of what we're trying to achieve like that and all it does is it just kind of brightens the sensor up a little bit and you know literally we've completed the whole thing in in just a couple of minutes and if you want to go back again and change the hue and saturation you can just go back click image adjustments hue and saturation and then mess around with the eye color again um, so this way you can you know you can change from blue to, to red if you wanted to, to to green to brown really quickly by using Adobe Photoshop I hope it's made it a bit clearer for you any gay anyway guys not any gay <laughs> any gay please like share and subscribe to my channel